Some people continue to experience health problems after recovering from COVID-19. Besides the common long-term side effects such as coughing and fatigue, doctors say that a COVID infection can also lead to severe bone loss. Our reporter Stephanie Yang visited the Taiwanese Osteoporosis Association to find out more. According to the Taiwan Centers for Disease Control, as of October 2022, more than 1.94 million people over the age of 50 in Taiwan have been infected with COVID. Taiwanese Osteoporosis Association President Wang Zhaoshan says the long-term side effects of COVID not only include coughs and fatigue, but also decreased bone mass. Adults over 50 are more prone to weaker bones. In this COVID-infected sun inflammation, uh, cytokine would induce the bone loss. COVID uh, symptom is a lot. It is one of the important issue. So we, the, well, our association is announced to let our COVID-infected people to take care about the bone condition. According to a new study by the Taiwanese Osteoporosis Association, nearly 50 percent of Taiwanese people have mobility problems after the pandemic. Huang says that COVID induces conditions related to osteoporosis, leading to weakened bones and a higher possibility of fractures. Usually the age is important, especially the age over the 50 uh, have the osteoporosis risk, some have the early menopause. Some people took uh, some medicine with let the bone turnover higher, especially took the steroid and also diabetic patient. In this study, we found that uh, somebody got a COVID infection and then the turnover of the bone, we got a little bit higher. So we announced that if you got the COVID infected, you need to test the bone density to know about the osteoporosis condition. We also found that a lot of people due to the COVID invaded uh, loss of the activity about the physical training. If the physical training is low, the fracture risk will increase. To help prevent bone loss, Huang suggests that people exercise regularly, ensure adequate vitamin intake and get a frax bone checkup. We would recommend to use the frax. Uh, Frax is the international 10-year uh, risk curator. You can key or search in the Google, FIX, and you can calculate the future 10 years risk. If the hip fracture risk is more than 3% and other major fracture risk is more than 20%, we recommend to adequate treatment. Huang recommends that people strengthen their bones by walking, running, hiking, or climbing stairs. Others can also do simple resistance workouts at home with resistance bands. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Li Han in Taipei.